We are back. First of all, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. I hope that everyone had um, an amazing holiday, an amazing new year. I know it has been, for me, it has been a long time since I have made content. It's been probably over a month. Um, this past month or two has been crazy. So much has been going on. I was moving and then I just had surgeries. Had four wisdom teeth removed kind of last minute. So I just had um, wisdom teeth surgery. Still recovering from that. I'm on day six, but today we are going out and we're going thrifting for the first time in a long time. And I'm so excited. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So let's go. So I also just wanna say, I'm sorry if I'm talking a little bit weird or my face definitely is still puffy and swollen. I don't, you can see the bruises right here. Um, I'm only on day six of recovering, but I'm feeling good, still healing, but we're going out thrifting. First find back. Okay guys, first store was very successful. First thing I found when I walked in right off of the new rack was Lululemon. That is my all time favorite thing to pick up and sell for myself and just to resell in general. And I found not one, not two, not three, but I found four things of Lululemon at that first Goodwill store. So I already know it's gonna be a great day. And even if I don't find anything else, my day, is made so let's go into the next one can't even really like smile because it hurts like when i smile because of my i got my wisdom teeth out so it kind of hurts but i'm so excited that i found all that lululemon and i hope i find more hey that's me So I got about 10 things in the second Goodwill that I went into, so it was okay. Um, I didn't get to film in the third Goodwill that I w went into at all because they had no carts, um, which they rarely ever actually have any carts, so I'm kind of like throwing everything on my arm. Um, I got about 15 things in that Goodwill, and now we are going into our last Goodwill, so let's see what we can find. Another pair, new attack. Okay guys, we are back. It is the next day and I actually got some really decent stuff for my first 
time thrifting of 2024. So let's go through and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. I also wanna mention that everything that I got in this thrift haul today, I got for $5 or less. So I would recommend picking up all of these clothing brands that I got if you have the ability to get these items at a lower buy cost, just like me. Okay, so first item that I got are these um, men's Prana pants. Prana is a really good women's and men's like outdoor hiking brand. And I love picking up these pants and selling them. Um, so these are men's, they're a size 30 by 30. I'm also gonna try and put a picture up here of what they're called and what I'm listing them for on eBay. Um, but I should probably get about 25 to $30 for these Prana pants. Then I got, this is Athleta. I love picking up Athleta. Um, the newer styles and Athleta. I do pass mostly on the old, older styles in Athleta usually, um, but these are just a pair of like women's really cute biker shorts. And you could tell that it's new because the name is like printed on the inside here. So I should probably get about $20 for these. I love picking up Athleta. It's a really great women's outdoor brand. Next I picked up, this is Chico's, Chico's Travelers. I love selling this brand. I think last weekend I sold, I don't know, maybe almost five to 10 pairs of Chico's in, in one week. It was crazy. So if you find Chico's Travelers, they're like a pair of like slinky pants. These were new with tags. I love like when I get home or when I'm thrifting and like I, at first I see the tag and then I look inside and I'm like, oh, it has the tag. Um, so these are like a pair of navy, Slinky pants are actually called the Traveler's No Tummy Pant in India Ink, size one tall. So if you find these pre-owned, um, I can get about $20, $24 for, but these are brand new. So I'm going to list these uh, maybe for about $35, $40. Next I picked up, this is a brand called Bonobos. Um, I love picking up Bonobos in the men's um, pants and shorts. This is called the Slim Taper Pant. Just a pair of like flat front chino pants. I should get about $25 for these. This is a brand I really like selling. It's called Under Armour. Um, it's Under Armour. I love selling only really in the men's. I love selling the men's polos and the men's shorts, men's pants. They have really good like golf performance active wear. Um, I do try to stick to picking up the bigger sizes in the polo. So like extra large, 2XL, 3XL. This is a size extra large. So I should get about $20, $25 for this polo. Then I picked up, this is a, another men's brand. It's called Johnny O. I love this brand. Again, in the polos, the shorts, the pants. It's another men's like performance outdoor golf brand. Um, this is just a basic polo size extra large. I should get about $25 for this. It does have a, a name on it. It says Phillips. Um, but I'm still gonna pick it up and try and flip it. Then another men's is Peter Millar. I love selling Peter Millar in the polos and the shorts. This specifically is called the Summer Comfort Polo. Um, I love selling these. I do try to stick to the bigger sizes, but the smaller ones still sell as well. I used to get about $30, $35 for these polos, um, but recently I can get oh, 25, 30 bucks for this polo. Next, I picked up another men's like outdoor golf brand. It's Adidas. Um, I stick to Adidas men's pants and shorts in this brand, um, but I can get about 25 bucks for these and it has the, the style on the inside where you can look up the style um, and find it that way as well. So again, I love picking this up. This is a bigger size too. So I should get about $25 for these. This is the brand called Adriano Goldschmied. I usually pick up Adriano in the women's jeans, but I also do love picking up Adriano Goldschmied in the men's jeans and men's shorts. So this is a pair of men's um, just flat front chino shorts. I should get about $25 for the shorts. If you find the men's jeans, you can get um, up to $35, $40 for the jeans. This, I had no idea. Joey is a vintage guy. I don't know if this is vintage. It might not be literally anything at all, but he's like, get it. At the least, it's a very cool graphic shirt. I don't know. It says Pedro all over it. So <laughs> it's single stitched like on the on the sleeves and on the bottom. And this is the tag. It looks like it's like a printed tag. So it says one size. I don't really know. But if you guys know Pedro, let me know. Shout out to Pedro. I picked up another Johnny O. This is a size 2XL. 
just a men's um, pink and blue striped polo. I should get about um, $25, 30 bucks for its polo. I love picking up jeans. I don't know why. I just, I love going in the section of the women's and the men's jeans section at the thrift store. They just make me so excited. Um, so this is a brand called Paige. I don't pick up a lot of things in Paige, um, but these are a bigger size and it has the style name. It's called the Amber. Um, so they're just a pair of like straight leg women's jeans actually i kind of bought them for myself <laughs> but um i don't love them so we're gonna sell them so that's the great thing about reselling i should get about 25 30 dollars for these jeans okay this is adriana goldschmidt but these are a pair of men's jeans which i love selling i should get about 30 35 dollars for these jeans and it has the style name on the inside so these are called the protege straight leg love picking up this brand in men's jeans even women's jeans you get a little bit less for the women's unless it's like a flare or a boot cut or something like that but usually i find like the skinny jeans um but i could still get them and flip them for about 25 bucks this is one of my favorite brands you guys saw the first thrift store i found four things of lululemon i was so excited that was the only lulu i found of the day but i found four things so i was happy right right there look at that logo i love it anyways this is these have to be a newer style. I'll put it right here if I lift them up. Um, but just a pair of Lululemon, really pretty color. I don't know, maybe get about $35, $40 for these. They're a bigger size too. I think they're a size 12. Next, I picked up Lucky Brand. I love picking up Lucky Brand in the men's jeans, sometimes um, the women's styles as well. But these are a pair of Lucky Brand women's shorts. I picked these up because they're a bigger size and I have luck selling the bigger sizes in the women's shorts. They're called the boyfriend short and they're a size 14 over 32. So I should probably get about 20, 20 bucks, 25 bucks for these. Um, so I figured I'd take a chance. I have sold them in the past. Lululemon again. These are a pair of dance studio crop pants. Lululemon dance studio pants sell really, really quickly and for good money. Um, these are just the straight leg like cropped ones but i should probably get maybe about 35 to 45 dollars for these pants so i was really excited to find lulu as you could probably tell <laughs> then i picked up this is the brand called j jill i love picking up j jill especially in the larger sizes um but these are called the j jill ponte slim leg size large petite just a pair of like pull-on casual pants i should probably get about 30 dollars for these Third piece of Lululemon. This is just, this was the first thing I found. First time back of 2024 thrifting. Right off the new rack. First thing I saw it, I'm like, yep, that's Lulu. Best thing I could have found. <laughs> um, so it's just a basic tank top. It is newer. I guess for some reason, I just know that it's newer. So I should probably get, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks for this tank top. I wish this was my size. <laughs> um, I love Lululemon. So if you find Lululemon, I pick up anything, so. This is a brand called Free People. I picked this up just because I, I love selling the brand Free People and like the newer stuff, but this was like an oversized, um, just casual top. But then when I got, when I was checking out, I saw it was new with tags, so I was like, perfect. So I should probably get about $30, $35 for this. Free People is a good brand. Then I picked up, this is Vineyard Vines. It's called the Edgar Town Polo. These tend to sell well for me, this. I'll get about 25 bucks. Um, it's a size large. I do like selling Vineyard Vines. Um, they're men's shorts, pants, and polos. This was last Lululemon, the fourth piece that I found. It's a women's Lululemon skirt. It has the tag on the inside too, size four. Um, so I love selling these skirts as well. This, is, this one is an older style, but I should probably get about $35 for this skirt. Then I got, I've really been into blazers lately. I picked up this um, men's Ralph Lauren blazer. So if you don't sleep on the blazers, guys, all, I've been trying to learn my brands that sell of blazers. Um, the two that I've learned so far is Lauren Ralph Lauren and Brooks Brothers, but this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren men's blazer and it's 100% uh, wool. I actually found another one too that's silk and wool. Um, and I've sold a couple that I've picked up too. So this should sell maybe for about um, 40, 50 bucks for this men's blazer. So if you can find Lauren Ralph Lauren blazers, I would definitely pick them up. Um, they, they sell for good money. Next, I picked up some shoes. These are Ofos. I love selling Ofos. It's a really, really great bolo brand. If you guys find Ofos in anything, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but really great brand i usually find like the recovery slides or flip-flop sandals these are like a pair of slip-ons every time i find them and i list them they sell 
literally either overnight or in a couple days. So I should probably get, um, I don't know, maybe about 40 bucks for these. Next I picked up, this is a Brooks Brothers, a women's um, like knit long cardigan. It is 100% Italian merino wool, size large. So I love things that are, because we're in like kind of the winter time, I love things that are like wool blend or 100% wool sweaters and things like that. I do like Brooks Brothers and a couple things. Um, so I'm hoping to get maybe about $30 for this cardigan. Another J. Jill. Again, if you can find J. Jill, especially in the plus sizes, will sell really, really quickly for you. I'm not sure, honestly, if this is a dress or a tunic top. Um, I think it's a top. It's a J. Jill size large petite top i should probably get about 25 bucks for this then i picked up this is seven for all mankind i love picking these up in the men's i do sometimes pick up things in the women's but when you find the men's jeans or pants they usually are a good seller this is seven for all mankind Lux performance packs they're called the paxton jeans um so i should probably get about 30 35 dollars for these jeans then i picked up this is the brand called eddie bauer i am picky with this brand um, the men's sometimes do better than the women's, it's like an outdoor brand, um, but these are, they're called the Eddie Bauer Men's Convertible convertible Tech Pant. Um, I should probably get about $20, $25 for these, they're like convertible on the bottom. And actually on the inside tag, it does say the name, so I did look it up, and it has a pretty decent sell-through rate. Um, so again, I should probably get about $20, $25 bucks for these. And I actually picked up, I think, three of these, so a good brand to look out for if you can pick it up for a good price okay and then this is brooks brothers a blazer it's not, this is actually a women's blazer um but it's a brooks brothers 100 italian merino wool blazer size 14 and it's like a herringbone pattern which herringbone will increase the value of what you have so i'm hoping to get about 35 40 dollars for this women's blazer then i picked up this is a brand called rei um, this is a men's and women's outdoor hiking brand. I'm pretty sure these are women's. Um, they're like a pair of convertible convertible pants. I should probably get about $20, $25 for these pants. This is another pair of Seven for All Mankind. These are men's jeans. They're the standard fit jeans. Sometimes these are button fly, which increases the value as well. Um, but again, Seven for All Mankind in the men's jeans is a good brand to look out for. I should probably get about $30 for these. And I picked up Adriana Goldschmied. This time, this is the women's. These are like a pair of soft velvet pants. They're called the Prima Ankle Cigarette, which is usually what I find. They're like a pair of skinny pants. Um, because these are velvet, I should probably maybe get about $30 for these. I also found another pair of Chico's Travelers, new with the tags. This is like a really pretty um, caramel brown color. I was so happy to find these new tags. These are gonna sell really well. So again, about $35, $40 for these. Okay, then lastly, I picked up, this is a brand called Sportif. It's a men's like sailing, hiking short, like boat short. I love selling these. These always sell for about $20, $25 for me if you could find the brand Sportif. It's usually always, I think I've always found the shorts. I don't pick up the pants because they don't sell well, but the shorts do sell well. in the men's section, so I'll put it right here. But again, about 20, 25 bucks for these. Okay, and that's gonna do it for me. I think that was a pretty successful thrift haul for me from coming back. Um, I'm definitely gonna be going thrifting every week and making more content. So thank you guys for coming along with me and watching. You can put a comment down below if you have picked up any of these brands or some other brands that you like reselling. And I hope everybody had a great new year and thank you so much for watching. You can like and subscribe if you would like and I will see you guys on the next video.